Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. I know, I know, your week is done and dusted and you're ready for the weekend. Welcome to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. My name is Danilo Aquisto and this show is proudly brought to you by Private Property. Now, as South Africa's premier interior design reality competition, we've been on an incredibly thrilling journey so far with our competing design duos as they transformed three totally empty cluster homes into these lavish designer living spaces. Now, soon the journey will reach its pinnacle, but before we hit the road to the grand finale, let's take a quick Quick look back at what happened in the conclusion of our final room challenge. Previously on Winner Home, even the rain couldn't put a damper on the judges' critiques of the living rooms. Guest judge Stephen Pellerade had a problem with pillows. You know what, I need to get rid of at least one. Oh. While Donald and Kat Lechel had their own problems. I'm a bit confused about the room. What's going on with this TV? Hmm, guys. Fortunately, they agreed that one living room ticked all the boxes and Team House and Leisure broke the three-way tie by winning the lounge challenge. <sighs> Finally. And with that, the homes are finished, right? Well, no, not really, because whenever a new home is built, there's an opportunity to fix any small defects or make minor changes before the owner officially moves in. Now, this is called snagging. So, with their last few rands and cents, the design duos were given the chance to do just that. <sighs> it feels like we're changing everything, but in a way to make it better. Like, we're doing a lot of snags and touch-ups. We started with room one and we went through the process. And when we say room one, I mean literally that room came from being a jungle to a blank canvas back to white. And then we had to decide how do we incorporate all of our ideas that we initially came in with to impress the judges but not overwhelm them where, like Stephen Falk said. I think I wouldn't want to wake up with a hangover in this room. This time around he must be able to snooze in that room. We've been trying to take the advice of the judges and edit the home as much as possible, try and add in things that we wanted to add in the challenge that we never got a chance to. Mm. While still keeping our design aesthetic in terms of what we, you know, do, which is over the top, daring, bold, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> first things first, we have to change our curtains. Mm -hmm. And also our blue room. The curtains, it's a must. But in the blue room, we've decided to paint over our paint technique. I think it made the room feel very heavy. And we added yellow, which is a bright, happy color, which also stimulates thinking, which talks again to our study theme in the room. And it matches with the chair. Listening to the judges comment, they told us that the plant was too big, so it overpowered the furniture. So we decided to make it a little bit shorter. And we added in a rug, mm -hmm. so that when you walk into the space, it really draws your attention to the floor and fills up the room. We're changing the mirror in the master bathroom because it was skew on installation. So to also not exert a lot of weight on it, we swapped it around, like the heavier side is on the bottom side. The one reason why it like got up skew was because like the, we had the big part at the top, so putting it up was quite a mission. Since we flipped it around, it's more easier to get it straight. Our Heartlander coffee table is here finally, and we can finally replace the pallet for it, and I think the judges might be impressed. I've been waiting for this moment where we get rid of the pallet. We felt our house was looking a little bit boring from the outside. Like as much as, you know, others might adore it and love it, we still love a little element of something special, something unique, something that says in the lane you're not like the others. We want something when people drive past, they slam on brakes. <laughs> Can I get into that door? I need to be in that house, I need to know who the person is there living there. It's, it was just to add a little bit of something special. So when your vision comes together at the end, after going through all of that, it really is a miracle. And it's a miracle, especially if you as the design duo are happy with what you're putting forward. 
Our house has come together beautifully and how we had imagined it would and we're very happy about how everything turned out. We definitely did bring our own personal touch into every room and I hope the judges can also appreciate that. It looks like a designer house. It looks like a house where you can sit down and have brilliant conversations, honestly speaking. So for us, it's, it's a dream come true. Still to come, our judges Katlejo Kondlo, Donald Ngumalo and our guest judge must assess the overall design of each design duo's homes in the final round of judging. And directly after the break, we're going to be reminiscing with our design duos, so stay right where you are. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Welcome back. Next week is going to be our live grand finale episode of Winner Home, where one of our design duos will be handed a check to the value of 100,000 Rand as our judges choice design champions. Plus, the duo with the most amount of votes from you at home will also be winning 20,000 Rand. So if the same duo wins both, then they'll bag a cool 120,000 Rand in prize money. Now, although voting has officially closed, you can still let us know on social media who you think will be this year's design champions using that hashtag win a home. Now, each of our design duos brought a unique aesthetic, personality and energy to the competition. And following their time on Win a Home has been both entertaining and really emotional. Emotional. Team Health and Leisure combines Banele's artistic eye with Tepo's technical talent and this helped secure their place as the early front runners of the competition and gave them the confidence to believe in their personal style. With the course of the show, I've realized that if I put myself or um, a certain mindset and hope to do something, I realized that I can get it done. And especially with personal style, realizing that people watch you, you almost want to become a hero for them in your style and inspire the next generation who's gonna come through. This competition has pulled me out of like my comfort zone and I've learned that there are certain things that I didn't believe I could do prior to the competition and now I believe I can do. My low point, was in the very beginning when we were starting to work together and we didn't really understand each other's styles. This is such a disaster and it's not looking as I thought it would. Really? Does, is it that bad? <laughs> oh, buddy, we have less than, literally less than six hours to get this right and we, it's not looking good. Do you want to give me a hand here? I wish I could help, but I can't. <laughs> as the show went, we kind of like, got an idea of who likes what and how to work around each other's styles. So, for, so which mirrors do you think should use? I want the bronze. I want the grey. Then why did you ask me? Because <laughs> I think all of them. <laughs> yes. As we criticised the last time for using yellow, I thought maybe we could try a green since you love it so much. Who said I love green? That is your green. Are you starting to confuse yourself with me now? I'm in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Working together, for me, there's actually made me trust Tepo more as well in regards to like technical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for him, probably the card would be skew or centered. Because <laughs> I'm just like, if it looks good, it's okay. But he makes sure that it's perfect. How the nerves? Well, I'm fine now. Okay, good. <laughs> Whatever happens, guys, just please get this thing finished. My high point has been, well, one, working with Vanille. That has been like the most amazing experience. If I had to pick another partner to work with, I'd always pick him. To whomever gets to pick a house, I think they should pick ours because it's fabulous. <laughs> Of the many reasons that made Team VC stand out, the one that really captured our attention was the fact that this duo created a fictional client and consistently designed every space with that client in mind. Their vision was to combine African style with a contemporary design under the theme of concrete jungle. And Team VC certainly created spaces that dreams are made of. In the beginning of the show, I was very comfortable with what I do at work and then I needed a challenge. It nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I've realized that uh, we complement each other and maybe even supplement each other 
where the one has a weakness, the other one complements with a strength. So I think we, we still work well together, even though we irritate each other sometimes. I think yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Let's divide and conquer. I'll go this way. The last time you disappeared out of nowhere. Trust me. And I'm proud to say that I've done it with the Seho. Let's do this. Yep. <sighs> I don't think you're testing the mirror. You're testing your lipstick out. <laughs> I know, but it's fine. I can manage this. We've done this before. Are you chasing me out? Anna Marie is a very good editor. Watching her work definitely inspired me. But yes, question. Can you afford it? I think we can. I'd even sell the Seho for this. Ah, you sell me! <laughs> and I think we are blessed to have her opinion on what we are doing. We were looking at this piece over here. Without the scatter cushion. Uh, my high point uh, for the show was definitely interacting with all of the designers that I follow on Instagram and I get to meet them in real life and hear their stories. I'd want it maybe mirrored just so that it actually draws the eye and your attention towards this big bed that we have. I absolutely love your dodecahedron piece. Thank you, thank you very much. We love it. Getting the kitchen done, that was a high point for me. <laughs> I love this monochromatic feel that you've got going on here. Thank you. How do you feel? Um, it's been a long road mm -hmm. and we're just glad that we're done and now it's time to enjoy our kitchen. I like the fact that it's a soft close, eh? Yes. And it can take about 400 kgs. Ooh, okay, Mr. Know-it-all. <laughs> 100, 200, 400, this should prove him theory. We're still going to work together. For a very long time. Winner Home has definitely opened a lot of doors for us. Um, we're already getting requests from people wanting us to decorate their spaces. If you want to enter Winner Home, I'll tell you now, it's a good opportunity for you to grasp. If you go out there and see other designers, challenge them, work with me. Opportunities that you get with Caesar Stone, with Plascon, talking about color psychology. I knew nothing about color psychology when I started this competition, but as time went on, I sat down, studied it, opened a different side of me. If you want to do Win a Home, be prepared to work hard, very hard. Even when you don't want to work, you still have to work. Now, when you think of Team Habitat, there are some words that immediately come to mind, like bold, daring, perhaps quirky and brave. Now, with their big ideas, big personalities and very big hair, this duo brought the razzle and the dazzle to life with a fresh and exciting design style that had everyone saying, shut the front door. As you can see, we are dressed to kill like a leopard. Rawr. Welcome to the jungle. Well, please hold your flowers. You are the queen. <laughs> I think our boldness and our difference stood out. I thought, shut the front door. My word. Good thing I had signal. <laughs> we are ready to roar for our leopard's library. Meow. Our relationship has been strained. A lot. I think when the budget snaps like my panty line, that's when our relationship also went. <laughs> I got a habit. <laughs> Shut the front door. This is the light. Fred? 80,000. My nerves. Pure no. stress. We, I mean, are a couple. So also we go home, leaving the space, and still debate the same things. Like, we, we didn't leave work at work. So are you going to unpick the curtain? If I have to. Or are you going to chop up that pole? <laughs> With my butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere there's drama. My word. Guys, please, everybody out, 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 out. It's been tough to maintain that fight, but it's actually made us stronger. I can now call ourselves bodybuilders. <laughs> we are strong. Come on, girl, put in some elbow grease. <laughs> and I hope we have inspired the audiences. And the people decorating the <laughs> homes. <laughs> and some decorators. <laughs> this wall is amazing. Construction Good. attire. Good. To block the dust from my eyes. This is to make sure when I go out after this, it's BOOM! <laughs> yeah. mm. My high points was winning, 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 especially when the money was there. We won! Oh, <laughs> Can I just have one more? <laughs> shot? Yeah, no. Just one more! Amanda, just one more. But even if I say no, anyway, you go ahead. My favorite room is house number 53. Thank you. Each room, it's like a child, and it's something different, something special, something bold, something daring. Unexpected. I'm so happy for them. They finally listened. We were not following no rule 
And no textbooks. And no man. We just went in and said, this is what the space feels like, and this is what we'd like to create in the space and make it for the potential client. Yes. Everyone will be saying, what the fridge? It's hard to be a young designer in any of the fields of design. And we thank Winner Home for giving this opportunity that and choosing You're that wild, the, the, the wild card and showing off what we do. Our design duos have inspired us to look at interiors differently and show the versatility of some incredible products. After the break, we take a look at how sponsored elements have added value to these homes. Plus, I'll be announcing the winner of our final bi-weekly giveaway. Could it be you? Stay right where you are. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. I'm super excited because in our grand finale, one lucky viewer will win a brand new home. During the live broadcast at 4 p.m. on the 10th of November, that's next week Friday, we'll find out who becomes a new resident at I of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. Our grand prize winner will be able to enjoy the incredible amenities found at the estate, including a very special piece of history found in the old school deli. Thanks, Bongi. Thanks so much, Bongi. Yeah. Old school is oh so cool, and the best way to my heart is through coffee and food. The old school deli at the Eye of Africa has got both. So, Louise, where does the old in old school come from? What's really exciting about this wonderful room that we're sitting in right now is it's almost over 100 years old, and it was actually an old school house. So when we decided to put together the daily restaurant, pizzeria, and create the heartbeat of the state, we thought why not surround it around this historical building and encapsulate that beautiful history of the state. What I love about this place is that there's a chance to pretty much get anything you need. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you've noticed that. We have every offering from your everyday essentials of maybe like a toothpaste, milk, we've got some lovely gourmet sandwiches that you can come and collect daily. And then not just inside the daily convenience store, we've also got a beautiful restaurant next door where you can host different types of functions, beautiful breakfast buffets, lunches, and then we've got our pizzeria where the kids can come and sit, make their own pizzas. And we've actually got an awesome kids lifestyle area where we've got the kiddies play area, swimming pool, and then we've actually got their very own gourmet ice cream bar where they can go and get their ice cream cones and cups. So it's really a lot of fun for the whole family. As the kitchen is the heart of the home, it feels like this old school deli is the heart of Eye of Africa and just so accessible to all of your residents. Yes, Danilo, like you say, it's right in the heart of um, Eye of Africa. So we encourage to bring family, friends, get together like we had our Heritage Festival, encouraging friends and family to get together. And then the accessibility is within the estate, it's close walking distance, and then we're only 17 kilometers from Santon. So to invite your friends and family out here is super, super easy. I really think what's unique about this specific development within Eye of Africa is we call this the Central Park. So what's really lovely is that it almost gives you that wonderful resort feeling that, you know, you normally have to pay a lot of money to go away on holiday. Here you have this inside the secure premises of your own estate. You literally don't even have to leave your own estate to have a holiday feeling. What more could you ask for? It sounds incredible. With so much on offer, I do not want to miss out on all the opportunities. Vincenzo, come on. Buongiorno, come stai? Va bene. Bene, grazie. Lei. Sì. 
The Italian blood that flows through my veins is dying to get into your pizza. You make the most perfect thin base. Can I try my hand? Yeah, okay, you can make a nice pizza and salas, ma a chef in pizza will make you a nice thin pizza, like it, the Italians like, thin base, crispy, with a nice Napolitano sauce and toppings just for you to test. Awesome. Silas, I'm gonna give you a fist pump. Hey, how's it, my son? I hear apparently that you're the legend when it comes to these pizzas. Yes. I've got my donut and I wanted to try and make a dessert pizza. Is that crazy? Mm, you can try, but I think this is gonna be a bad, very, very <laughs> bad pizza. <laughs> so what is the most popular one here? The most popular pizza here is a Mexican pizza. It's got mince, green pepper, onion, chili and garlic. I'll make dessert pizza. You make your Mexican pizza, we'll see which one comes out. Yeah, let's try. Deal. Yeah. Show me how to do it. Well, Silas went about preparing the estate's firm favorite, my unconventional creation, required a crispy base, sliced up donut, and melted chocolate. Oh, wow. Yes. That looks good. <laughs> I'll chop this one up. I won't lie, savory pizzas are always going to be a win. And although you can't get my donut pizza at the I Have Africa Golf and Residential Estate just yet, who knows? Maybe one day it could be a signature on their menu. Bon appetito. Oh, it's good, eh? I thoroughly enjoyed myself hanging out at the deli, and it's one of the many pleasures our grand prize winner will enjoy on the estate. Another pleasure to enjoy is living and interacting with the high-end furnishings and equipment supplied by our sponsors. Now, each team was allocated 60,000 rands worth of sanitary wear and mirror cabinets by Gibberet, and 80,000 rands worth of showers and taps from Grower. They got to choose Grundig appliances worth 80,000 rand each, and also could choose from Bulgatex flooring options to the value of 50,000 rand. Now, this was on top of the 100,000 rands worth of Caesar stone per unit and as much Plascon paint as was needed. So to our sponsors, we say a huge thank you. Using Caesar Stone in your bathroom and kitchen is going to increase the value of your home tremendously because of its high quality and lifetime warranty. So the contestants have really understood that fact and put it in the right places. The Caesar Stone research and development team works really hard at creating unique colours and they've chosen really nice colours from our new range. They've utilised them beautifully. Beautifully indeed. The design viewers have displayed such creative flair in using Caesar Stone in amazing out-of-the-box ways from towel rail ladders to window frames. But because it's non-porous, easy to clean and hygienic, this naturally makes it perfect for kitchens and countertops. In fact, the best stone is Caesar Stone. If we could have made each kitchen a winner, we would have, because they are all kitted out with state-of-the-art designer Grundig products. If you become our grand prize winner, will you choose Team VC sleek black and white design with seamless flexi induction hob and a black glass door combi fridge? Or would you prefer a pop of color with Team House and Leisure and their gas on glass hob, washing machine and dishwasher set, and upright larder freezer combo? Or Team Habitat's kitchen dining experience with convenient Grundig dishwasher and 12 kilogram washing machine, both with their piano key design at your fingertips. The choice is yours if you are the lucky grand prize winner. Grundig, where home is. The winner of any one of my homes is going to get super products from Gibberet. Choosing Gibberet for your bathroom is the perfect choice because we bring technology from behind the wall to design that meets it in front of the wall. We start with the toilet, we have the technology behind the wall with the single and dual flush. Sustainability is a really important factor for Gibberet. So for example, with the toilet flushing, we want you to save water. And with having a three litre and six litre flush, really makes you water-wise. And the beauty about them is they're all rim-free, which is hygienic. The vanities which they've all selected in the bathrooms are all situated off the floor, which is great for giving a sense of space, especially with more compact bathrooms. In addition to that, all the bathrooms have beautiful illuminated mirrors that are great functions for when you're doing makeup. Um, and as well with storage. In some of the units, they've got storage cabinets. Mirror, mirror on our wall. Make this team disappear. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the products you're going to be receiving in the bathrooms are fantastic. 
They come from Europe, they're stylish, and it's really where design meets function. All the products that you have in your home come with a 10-year service guarantee, so that gives you a bit of peace of mind, knowing that you've got high-quality products and we stand by our brand. The design duos also used grower products to give the Winner Home Grand Prize winner the highest quality bathroom and kitchen experience imaginable. Team Health and Leisure's high-tech smart control shower will leave you feeling rejuvenated. Team Habitat's classy geometric taps are modern and stylish and their double range shower will make the neighbours jealous. Grower added an extra touch of luxury in Team VC's bathrooms and their kitchen comes complete with water-wise taps that make washing up a pleasure. The lawns of the three homes were sponsored by Evergreen Turf, the largest supplier of instant lawns in the Southern Hemisphere, who have ensured that the grass is always greener. This grass is called Evergreen Gold. It's a blend of turf type tall fescues and a little bit of bluegrass. It's a very good grass. It's been tested in, uh, uh, over years. Uh, it will remain green throughout winter and summer completely. This grass is grown at our facility in Eikenhof. Uh, we grow it from a seed that's imported and it takes us about a year before we can harvest it. This grass is grown and maintained like a mature lawn and it's cut into slabs so the moment that you've got your house ready you could virtually come to a, a situation where there's dirt in the morning in the afternoon you would get a beautiful lawn ready for a nice bride. Initially once you've planted it you need to water it well every day for about 14 days to make sure that there's enough root establishment. Thereafter you need to keep on mowing it every week and then obviously just a good fertilizing program. The benefits of turf grass around your house is amazing. 100 square meters of natural turf grass can create enough oxygen for a whole family, as well as the cooling effect. The cooling effect is similar to what the aircon does, and I mean, you can just look at it stepping on a warm stepping stone, and when it burns your feet and you jump onto the cool grass, that's amazing. Apart from that as well, just the economic benefits and the value that it adds to your property. When coming to somebody's property, you see this lush green lawn, just creates that lovely outdoor living style which people love when they look at ours. Yes! Oh, yes! I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, a home without Plascon is just a blank canvas. With paint brushes and rollers, the design duos turned each home into a work of art. Creative and brave paint techniques transformed spaces and bold use of colour throughout each home positively impacted mood and well-being. With Plascon, these homes are truly designed for life. For our final bi-weekly giveaway, one viewer gets to win a KitchenAid Artisan Mixer with 10,000 Rand, courtesy of Caesarstone. So congratulations to... Patty Maloka, you voted for Team VC and this KitchenAid mixer is officially yours. Congratulations. And staying in the spirit of competition, I'm looking forward to calling out the name of one of our design duos in the grand finale next week. But first, our judges have to visit the homes again to make their final verdict. This time, they're packing a bag and coming extra comfortable. All that and more, next. Partnership with Winner Home. The best stone is Caesar Stone. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. 
it's good to have you back with us on Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now, to determine the overall winners of the design competition, the judges will have to look at the design of the homes as a whole. Now, for this very different final round of judging, Donald Ngumalo of DNX Design and Katleko Konlo from Plascon are joined by an icon of the South African interior design industry as the guest judge, and they're bringing a little baggage to experience the design in a very personal and practical way. Up until this point, the judges have arrived each week to look at the incredible design from our design duos. But what will happen when they decide to live that design? Katlejo, Donald and our guest judge, Kim H, have arrived to spend the night. And one of our design duos after that will be 100,000 Rand richer. The acclaimed Kim Hutton was not only a judge for the first season of Winner Home, but also the designer of that season's grand prize apartment. I'm Kim Hutton. I own Kim H Interiors, which I've had for 17 or 18 years now. Absolutely love what I do, whether it's beautiful homes or offices or hotels. I just absolutely uh, am completely passionate about design. I've got a, an honours degree in marketing at UCT. Started my own business, which is opening up a pizza takeout chain, which I developed for about 10 years. Uh, and built it up, I think, to about 26 or 27 outlets. One day I was lying outside in my outdoor bath, which I've had in every home I've built, and I just suddenly thought, no, I'm now going to do what I love. The excitement I felt when I thought of the idea then, 17 years ago, has not gone away. I absolutely love what I do. I feel like I don't work a day in my life. Good design to me stems from absolutely thoroughly listening and understanding what your clients or your potential clients lifestyle is, the type of person they are. The more they can tell me about themselves, the more strongly I know I'm going to way exceed the expectations. We watched the Winner Home season one and we saw Kim H there. Hey. hey. <laughs> and it's really surreal to be in this moment right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's that. It's like some designers are also pushing boundaries, and it's nice to be judged by people who push also boundaries. I've always wanted to work for him, and I'm quite nervous. I'm not really sure how he's going to receive our work, but then I'm hoping that he gets the best out of it. He is a very great interior designer in South Africa, and to be judged finally by someone with so much experience, so much knowledge, so much inspiration is scary. <laughs> hello, hello. 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 You're all welcome. Now, before our judges make themselves feel too at home, each design duo will get the chance to present their dream home. First up, Tepo and Banele. Welcome to your space. And the idea here was to actually keep it very warm and we wanted it to feel like a home instead of like an apartment or like just a show house. And it was with that we did the colors, we considered what colors we use, which helped with the warmth and especially in cooler rooms. And also I think with the textures that we used as well, we just needed to soften up the space. What we had imagined for the space is a very young couple that, that has like recently gotten married. So they are into like very different things. Like one is from like a very informal kind of upbringing and then the other one had it very well in life and everything has gone well from one step to the next to the last. Since we are working together and then we'd, we have two different tastes, we thought it would be much more practical to envision like a couple as our clients because it's me and Banele, different tastes, different design styles and everything. Bringing that together would create something different, we hope it is to you guys. And also with the art that we have in the space, it was young South African artists and that helped with just the escalation of the value of the property. As a designer, you do want to like, sort of like showcase a bit of your personality into the space. So since Banele is someone who really appreciates plants, we try to sort of like bring in plants into the space to sort of like create like an indoor, outdoor experience within the space. Guys, you've done an amazing job with your home. Uh, I really enjoy 
the direction you've taken in terms of like an Afro Scandi uh, thing. Scandi is trendy, but so is Africa, very much so. And I think you've shown that so beautifully. I also enjoyed the way that you guys created a client that was two different humans with two completely different likes and dislikes, but you had to collaborate. And that being the case where you would have had a bigger influence on different areas, is there any common area in the home that you both really enjoyed together? I think on my side it would be the master bedroom, and I think we both, yes. And with the master bedroom, we really considered like the, I think it was more about luxury, and it was about the client being at a calm state and at ease. And I think we achieved that with the colors, the also the bedding and the art around it and the plants. What I've enjoyed about the space is that you've always had these moments of brilliance and in that it was really nice to see that the moments of brilliance were consistent. So all the rooms I can see are well tied together and the theme of tranquility, of Africanism, that I truly enjoyed. Well done. I am just so happy for you. I feel that you've done an amazing job in this space. You've created a sense of indulgence, yet at the same time, in the living spaces, there's richness in the color palette that you've used, the local artists that you've used, the furniture is light that offsets that richness on the walls. Um, and more importantly, you've carried through a theme from each and every room when you've started. You've just grown in leaps and bounds, and I just want to congratulate you for that. Absolutely well done. Judges, we hope you enjoyed our space and we've got lunch prepared for you to eat. Team House and Leisure, um, Tepo and Banele. What do I say about them? They are just, they're just the most beautiful souls. With lunch being served, all that's left is for you to decide which homes you'll be staying in tonight. Have you given that much thought? I've given it a bit of thought and I have to say, Dan, I quite like the idea of living on the wild side. <laughs> Team I'm Habitat. Going wild. Team Habitat. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> Calling this home. For me, it's the baby making room. Team BC. Yeah. Well, let's have lunch and then you guys can head off and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tuck in. Thank you. Living in a space will give you a real sense of the design, a real sense of how it feels to be in that space. Um, it will give you real and deeper insight into the thinking behind the design, how it actually in real life works. It's great that homes look good, but the true test will be how livable they are. As Kim Hutton spends the night in Team Habitat's house, Donald gets comfortable in Team House and Leisure's unit, and Katlejo tests out Team VC's home. So after the break, we take a sneak peek into how the overnight stay of our judges was. Will our discerning guests give our contestants five stars? Find out after these. Welcome back to One Home on Afternoon Express. Now, our judges have to decide which design duo will be named the champions of this season and award them a cash prize of 100,000 Rand. With such a big amount on the line, it was only fitting that our judges spent a night in the three decorated homes and it made them realize just how far the design duos have come and how much they've accomplished. This winter home journey has been rather emotional, which I didn't anticipate. I, I found myself relating to the jewels. I found my nurturing motherly side coming out. Um, there were moments of sheer pleasure. There were moments of frustration where I knew they could do better. So it has been a rewarding where you see certain jewels also progressing and you know, just stretching themselves even further and improving week upon week. I've got two favorites for in Team Visa's house. One is the feature wall that they've created in the living space. I love how they've taken the green all the way up to the ceiling. There's a sense of excitement on this wall and the combination of color that you wouldn't necessarily anticipate to work. And my favorite is also the mirror in the bedroom. 
um, and not for baby making. On a serious note, it just created a sense of space in that room. It's very important for every designer to consider how a client will interact with that space and how ultimately they'll live in a space. So coming in and having a day to spend in the space is really the perfect test of whether great design has been well executed or whether the client can live in that space. House and Leisure's home is faultless. I mean, that bedroom is absolutely dreamy and I have dreamt of sleeping in that bed. So for me, it is a dream come true. I am completely uh, beside myself with excitement. I think that it's going to be a peaceful night of sleep. Living in it uh, gives you a little bit of a different slant and just walking through it and appreciating a space for what's been achieved, etc. But living in it, actually gives you the chance, even in your jammies, and to walk around with a cup of tea and maybe appreciate a lot more about the home than you might have missed walking it through the odd week as each room was developed. It gives you time to actually really feel the space. I love the complete resourcefulness. There's so many things have been made from charities or places where they really had to go and shop until they actually found something and through a huge amount of effort and low cost they made it look absolutely gorgeous and to me this home just looks way ahead of its station in terms of interior design. Judges, it's been a long day. Team VC have prepared these nightcaps for you and they've prepared their vision for the home, which they're going to share with you too. Judges, good night. Team VC, good luck. Thank you, Danilo. Welcome to our humble abode, judges. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the snacks we've prepared for you. What we wanted to create in this house is definitely a house that is functional, convenient, but also very comfortable. We've designed this house for a bachelor specifically in mind. So we made everything efficient and compact. However, what we do like about this house is that it functions for both a bachelor and a couple or a family. So it is multifunctional essentially. So our theme was Concrete Jungle. Uh, it was all inspired by the song of Alicia Keys, Concrete Jungles is where dreams are made of. So what we created with this house, it was that we sat down and thought about what what could represent uh, South African designers the way we want to? Because of a lot of design is more of European, people are going more masculine, but we wanted to have like a feminine touch. If you can see, we have the greens and the pink mixed together and a pop of color then there. If you look carefully in all our rooms, there's a touch of gold, whether it's accessories, it's a side table, it's a bedside lamp, a paint, there's a touch of gold, which represents the city of Joburg from Gauteng. Guys, congratulations. And after all, we are sitting in the kitchen that won the, the best kitchen of the competition. So well done. Um, Lesoko, my question is mainly for you. You're the only female in the competition. And I just, I'm just interested in the journey, what the journey has been like, and the experience as the, the only female in the competition. Well, being the only female in the competition, Katlejo, is a little bit difficult. It's easy to get overpowered by masculine influences. However, I do feel my voice is in the soft finishes. I've also tried to incorporate, as much as in poor protests, indoor plants. I think that's, that's a very feminine touch. Men don't think about flowers. <laughs> Guys, congratulations. I think the job that you've done is absolutely amazing. It really feels like a home space. I'm really delighted that you also chose who your target market would be and it would be a bachelor because that's part of being a professional interior designer. And I've heard that you've learned so much in this competition. So well done on that, is that you're focusing on being designers and thinking longevity. Having been a contestant on this show, I truly appreciate what has gone into these spaces. I know how incredibly difficult it is to pull together such high quality interiors on such a tight budget, but under such time constraints. And I think what you've done here is truly commendable. So thank you from my side. I'm very proud to look at you guys and well done. <laughs> the Team Busy Home, it really is a lovely, fresh space. Um, what I really liked about it was the fact that they had put so many thoughts and ideas into the actual design of the home and what they were going to incorporate. 
Making a big decision often requires one to sleep on it. And for our judges, this certainly rings true. As they tuck into their luxurious master suites to contemplate each design duo's accomplishments and consider which deserves the accolade of being crowned the design winners of season four. But a new day brings with it one final team's pitch. Good morning, judges. How did we sleep? Oh, it was so restful. Good to know. It's a brand new day and I thought we'd start off with breakfast today. Proudly served to you by a beer and bread. <laughs> come on out. Good morning. <laughs> Rise and shine. Rise and shine. And it comes with a love letter. <laughs> oh, no bribes accepted here. <laughs> there is no cash. The budget has run out and that's one for you. <laughs> Right, a beer and bread. We've had, obviously, Kim staying in your home last night, but this is the perfect opportunity for both of you to explain the vision behind your home while they're all here together. Oh, what a tall task so early in the morning! <laughs> Our vision was to create a home that was show-stopping, that anyone that came to visit would be wild, flawed, and would re remember it for the rest of their lives. As soon as they drive past, they need to say, shut the brakes, <laughs> I need to go into that house. Who designed that house? Who lives in that house? What's happening in that house? I mean, we really did not hold back in terms of trying to take it to the next level. We didn't follow textbooks. We used our own intuition and your guidance through the challenges to help us grow. We I mean, it, as you know, yeah. we started out and it was rah, rah. <laughs> yeah. We just thought, all right, we're bringing in the big five. Like lion, zebra, giraffe, mm. you know. But then as it went through, it's a lot of, we learned a lot of editing and we learned that someone needs to live in this home. And when they live in this home, it must still feel like a dream mm -hmm. and an escape that's at the eye of Africa. But it's, you know, it's a home. Definitely. We wanted something warm and with love. A beer and Brad, well done and congratulations on a beautiful project. I know that you come from a fashion background, so what would you say is the most challenging thing you experienced in the competition? Hmm. Well, I honestly have to say, even in the fashion industry where we come from, we still try to push boundaries where sometimes it's, do they have to clash so many fabrics together all at once? So we are that team that really is not afraid to try something new and really just, if we're gonna do something, it might as well be something that's different or else we'd rather let someone else do it. Guys, from my side, I just congratulations. I see a passion here that I cannot believe in two people that are not really in the industry, but also on your resourcefulness is, it really looks like you've spent a lot of money where I know you've had tight budgets. And in terms of being a professional interior designer going forward in life, that's a big part of it. You don't always have a big budget. I think you've been incredibly resourceful. Uh, you created an absolute wow, which is what I think you intended to do. Well done. I love how you've just kept to who you are. You're unapologetic about it, and you just carried on with that sense of pride in what you do. And what I really, really love is how you, you probably don't realize it now, but you've given other people permission to be who they are and not to fit into this cookie cutter world that we live in. And I wanna thank you for that because you've brought that through in, in this show, but to other people as well. So well done. <laughs> oh. Well done, well done, yes. I really never thought I'd cry like that. I really don't wanna cry like Oprah, but it was, Sometimes you just can't hold back the tears when you hear something that really touches your heart. Oh, tears already, and we haven't even made it to the grand finale yet. So if you're reaching for your tissues, then you better make sure you're ready for next week's live broadcast at 4 p.m. right here on SABC3. One of our design duos will be named this year's Winner Home Design Winners. And for one of you at home, life will change forever as you become the owner of a home worth over 3 million rand. It is the biggest prize on South African television, so best believe there are going to be some really big smiles and emotions next week in the Winner Home Grand Finale. So please do join us as we celebrate this year's triumphs in fine style. From me, Daniela Cristo, I will see you then. Have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you for that Grand Finale on Friday. Bye-bye.
Afternoon Express. Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.